Welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about patterns. You've seen all sorts of patterns around you because a pattern is simply a design that is repeated like this, or like this, or this. See how they repeat? Sometimes a pattern just repeats the same thing again and again, such as this. If you're looking for them, you can see patterns all around you. Patterns can really be useful for organizing objects around us. Planting crops, houses on a street. Factories rely very heavily on patterns to produce a lot of products quickly, making the things we buy less expensive and better quality. Another way that patterns can be used is to help predict. You're old enough to see a pattern repeat every year. Tell me if this sounds familiar. Spring, summer, fall, winter, spring, summer, fall. Based on your experience, what do you think comes next? If it's fall, would it make sense to get your summer clothes ready? Of course not. As you can see, understanding patterns is very useful for helping predict what might come next and preparing for it. Patterns don't always repeat the same thing over and over like A, B, A, B, A, B. Sometimes patterns can get bigger as they repeat. Like this, one, one, two, one, three, one, four, one. We call this a growing pattern. In this growing pattern, I'm adding an A each time. Can you predict what comes next in this pattern? How many A's should we use to continue our growing pattern? Yep, five A's. And we could repeat this growing pattern forever. Nature has a lot of great examples of growing patterns. Seashells and tree rings are two awesome examples of nature using growing patterns. Stairs are a man-made example of a growing pattern you'll see all around you. Repeating blocks would simply give us a walkway, but adding a block each time turns a flat walkway into stairs. Two types of patterns giving us two different purposes. In fact, doesn't the stairs example look like the skip counting you already learned? It's amazing how many things in math are related. If patterns can stay the same and patterns can grow, then patterns can certainly shrink too, right? Shrinking patterns get smaller the longer you go. In fact, shrinking patterns are usually just growing patterns in reverse order. If we reverse our stairs example, you can see that we still get stairs. Counting down for a rocket launch is also a shrinking pattern. Five, four, three, two, one, lift off. Well, that's all I have for you about repeating patterns, growing patterns, and shrinking patterns. Make sure to check the resources section of this lesson for any sidekicks you can use with your skills practice. Send me any questions if you get stuck. And until next time, remember that the more you practice, the luckier you get. I'll see you in the next video. Oh hey, what do you call someone with no body and no nose? Mmm, nobody knows. <coughs>